All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And Shalom to the Archeum, pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bavi Akanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as an intransit edition video. Lord willing, it's edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and learning. And uh, you know, pretty much I was just uh I was just meditating on the um on the times that are at hand, all right? The very, very serious times that are at hand concerning these last days. And um, there's been a massive influx of spiritual, you know, happenings and spiritual activity throughout the four corners of the globe. But not only that, you know, between, you know, the ministry, between the brothers, you know, that are laboring in this truth, you know, the spirit of things is turning up, you know, spiritual activity is heightening. You know, Yahweh Shim Yahushai is is pretty much, you know, showing us signs, you know, on a daily basis. Sometimes, you know, you might send up a prayer asking Yahweh Shim Yahushai for a particular thing or for guidance on a particular situation. And, you know, it seems like I'll speak for myself. It seems like, you know, then confirmations are just happening instantly. Okay, you're getting them, you know, them signs and spiritual signs and spiritual confirmations regarding something that you may you might be thinking or, you know, a situation that you might be in. You know, Yahabar Shim Yahushai is is guiding us in the spirit in these last days. And I know I'm not the only one. You know, I know I'm not the only one. I know that, you know, there's brothers out there that can attest, you know, to the same thing. And, you know, as we get closer to the end, as we get closer to the manifestation of our Lord, Yahweh Shai making his appearance, you know, these things are only gonna heighten, all right? These things are only gonna heighten in these last days, man. And that's a beautiful thing. Now, the scriptures say in the book of uh, Galatians that we're to walk in the spirit, man. All right? We're to walk in the spirit. And there's also another scripture, I believe it might be in um in the book of Peter's, if I'm not mistaken. But it says, you know, to walk in the spirit that you fulfill not the lust of the flesh. And that's pretty much, you know, what's going down, man. The more and more, you know, you are operating in the spirit, praying unto you, how about Shimi Shai, you know, seeking guidance from the Lord is the more you're going to be neglecting the flesh and carnality okay because it's all about walking in the spirit remember you know the scriptures say that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal so in these last days the Lord is heightening the spiritual aspect of our existence man okay and he's stripping away the carnal and the fleshly way of being because the way we are going to get delivered you know i'm speaking about the hopeful elect the way we are going to get delivered is going to be a spiritual event all right it's going to be a highly spiritual event and that's why we're seeing so many chariots sightings you know throughout the four corners of the globe you know that's why you know the scriptures talk about you know beast newly created because Oh, the apparitions, you know, because it tells us in the second verse nine on down, it, it talks about um, there shall be, you know, endings with effects and signs. So there's going to be a lot going on in these last days that is pretty much going to be unexplainable to those that are not in the know. All right. People that are in the world that don't understand 
you know, what they're actually taking part of. When these things start happening, you know, the apparitions, all right, the signs, you know, signs in the moon, signs in the stars, all right, when all of these things are taking place, beasts newly created, these people are not going to know what the hell to do. They're not going to know how to act, all right? They're not going to know the process that's actually taking place upon the face of the earth, but we know. We have that inside information through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Shimi Shai. So like the scriptures say, um, I believe it's Thessalonians, you know, that, that day shall not overtake us as a thief because we've been participating in the work. We've been, you know, expecting all of these things to come to pass because we believe in the scriptures, man, through the gift of faith that we have. All right, so when all these things are taking place, when, the, when these abnormal occurrences are happening throughout the four corners of the globe, you know, we're going to be rejoicing, okay? Now, of course, there will be an element of fear because we fear Yahweh about Shimi Shai as a default, all right? And that's the spirit that we ought to be in and ought to maintain. You know, King David said, um, unite my heart, meaning his mind, to fear thy name, okay? So we have to have, you know, the fear of Yahweh about Shimi Shai because none of us know for certain that we have that, you know, golden ticket, if you will, on a chariot. That's why we call ourselves, you know, the prisoners of hope. That's why it says in the scriptures, you know, that we are the prisoners of hope. Because we're we're hoping that Yahweh Shim Yahushai has mercy upon us. And we're hoping that we don't take part in this great judgment that's going to be coming throughout the four corners of the globe, man. We're hoping, all right? We're hoping and we're praying that the Lord has mercy on us, man, because we know that there's something great coming. We know that there's going to be, you know, a great judgment coming to the world. And we know that there's going to be a lot of blood. We know there's going to be a lot of death. And we know there's going to be a lot of unexplainable events to the naked eye that's going to transpire upon the face of the earth. That's going to bug a lot of people out, man. So we're just hoping that the Lord, and we're praying, you know, that the Lord gives us the spirit to be able to, to bear these things that are coming to the world, man. But doing the work and being involved in this ministry, making your calling and election sure is where it's at, all right? That's where it's at, man, because pretty much, you know, we've given up the world, man, all right? Because the fashion of this world faded away. So we've made that bold step through the spirit to detach ourselves from the ways of this world, man, because we understand that this world is going to be destroyed. And we understand that the next world that is coming is going to be the world of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai, where everything is going to be a reset, man. All right? So we're basically witnessing, you know, the global spiritual reset of Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. Okay? Forget, forget, you know, E and his global reset agenda. That, 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 that is going to be short-lived. That's going to be around for but a short time because as soon as that chip is made mandatory, upon the face of the earth, pretty much we're out of here, man. All right, the Lord is not gonna have his elect men, women and children operating for a very long period of time when that chip is out, all right? Because the Lord is gonna have mercy upon his elect. That's why the scriptures say, you know, but I will help thee, all right? The Lord is gonna help us, man. The Lord is actually gonna help us when things get really, really draconian and really um really challenging out here man for lack of a better term when things get really challenging and we're pushed to the corner the lord is going to help us man and we have great examples of that when we read the accounts of moses you know coming out of egypt you know the exodus you how about shim Shai helped the israelites man and he's going to help us even more in these last days you know how much more you know, do we need help in these last days under such a wicked re regime being in Esau Edom? We need help, man. Okay? We need help. We need Yahweh Bar Shimi Shai to help us out of this situation, man. We're at Yahweh Bar Shimi Shai's mercy. Okay? If the Lord don't come back, you know, we're done. Pretty much. That's what the scriptures say, you know. No flesh will be saved. You know? 
So the Lord is gonna hasten his coming in, the, in these last days, man. All right, he ain't gonna leave us here to rot in Esau's kingdom and to just deteriorate and be destroyed. No, the Lord cares about his elect men, women and children, starting with the elect men, you know, the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The Lord cares about us, man. All right, so he's gonna deliver us in a very, a very um, dramatic and extraordinary fashion, man. Like it tells us in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon. So we have a lot to look forward to, man, through the spirit. So this is a very, you know, beautiful time to be alive very exciting and you know we're seeing you know the works of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai unfold right before our eyes man okay so this is the time to keep the faith keep pushing you know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and um you know let's enjoy man all right that time is at hand and with that uh, Lord willing uh this short video was, was edifying and until next time I'll say Shalom